we are so unbelievably wealthy and it's a exciting exciting transfer window so much stuff is going on but uh yeah so exciting and uh third season i'm ready for it so uh roll the olsen gang theme Welcome back friends, are you crazy here with uh, loads and loads of money and uh, yeah I'm just gonna put the meme up straight away because yeah this is my chance for windows, literally nothing happens, I earn lots of money, I try and scout for players and uh, yeah, what more can you say? I mean we have a balance of 156 million and 114 million in the transfer budget, I could even make it more if I wanted to but I mean what's on earth is the point because yeah this is this is our transfers <clears throat> this is our transfers we made one signing literally one signing and he's not even here i just sneak in the clause to loan them back immediately because uh, i'm just signing young players he's not even very good this guy uh, whatever whatever i even just started um overpaying them massively like this guy like i'm signing him for 10 million right he's nowhere near 10 million worth but basically my plan now is to just pump as many money that sounded wrong but i'm sure it was fine uh, as much money into the Danish teams as humanly possible. So there are a few others where I've done that, like Dell and Kea, but <clears throat> yeah, that's basically all I've done. And uh, because it kind of hinges on them, right? I can't just rely on my own youth setup. I also need all the Danish clubs to start producing some wonder kits, which they usually do and never say. But this one I'm especially like in need of because, well, obviously. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm just gonna do. I have so many, so much money, anyways, that. I may as well just pump it into the Danish league somehow, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do from now on. Uh, we did sell a few players, uh, which I guess is a bit a shame, but Dolva has left. He just, uh, I don't know. He, he, if, if I were to gamble on him straight away, I'm sure I could have made more of him, but he just never really got the enough chances, and so yeah, he's off to Napoli for a whopping 40 million total, which is not too bad. Daniel Vass, like one of my personal favorite players, has also left the club, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, he's 35 years old, uh, sorry, 33, and uh, I, even though he plays amazingly, I have a youngster now that I want to play more, and uh, yeah, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, and then, yeah, as loans and all sorts, the usual way. I will just say, it's not that like, nothing is actually happening, if you take a look at the transfer center, I actually have loads of players coming in, but because they're obviously so young, like, it's gonna, they're gonna join just on random occasions when they turn 18 I'm assuming but yeah you can see you can start to see the theme here so in the beginning I was my usual like pragmatic uh, save money kind of way so lots of these players I mean I'm pointing at the screen what the heck lots of these players I got for free right I just went in there pushed the sign and playing like oh look I'm a mastermind at football manager but like, how what's the point of that right I have so much money so Look at this guy, for instance. Like, I, I just paid them 15 million. He's worth three and a half thousand. I was like, just get in the back. I mean, he looks absolutely incredible, right? So he was always on my radar. I could have just paid maybe two million or something, five million, whatever. I just went 15 million, take it or leave it. And they're like, oh, of course, of course, of course. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to start doing. And same with this guy, like five million. He's nowhere near five million, but who knows if he's going to be good one day. But I'm not mucking around any longer. Like, just get the money in and out start pumping money into all the Danish clubs, so, well, yeah, it's the only way forward. In terms of my squad, well, this is what's going on right now, it's a bit of a mixed bag, and uh, I guess we'll see some dynamics, because there was a bit of transfer bonanza happening in the summer, because, uh, as you can see, Delaney wants to move to a bigger club, which is fine, but no one is willing to pay, uh, actually buy him, so that's annoying. Uh, and uh, Andreas Kessens are an absolute star defender, which I'm never selling, at least for another four years or something. Uh, he was subject to a bit of from Manchester United and is very disappointed that he was not able to leave. And then I tried to sell Christian Eriksen. No one wanted to buy him, probably his enormous wage. And uh, yeah, I had to promise him I wouldn't sell him because, well, I may as well if no one's going to buy him anyway. So yeah, that was pretty much all the drama there. But uh, yeah, there's still a bit of interest here and there. I mean, Arsenal, for instance, is interested in Yusuf Paulson. I'm more than happy to sell him uh, and start developing the youth. Um, same with Delaney, Atletico is still interested, which is, mm, I mean, if they want to bid, but, like, I'm tired of just offering them out for absolutely nothing, because they, it doesn't work, they, so I'm just going to wait and see, and then 
maybe deadline day we'll do some more transfers i don't know transfers more like sellings i don't know but yeah this is basically how it looks it's very familiar but um i talked about the right back situation well this is our youth intake right back we got uh well this year and uh yeah i'm just gonna start playing him as much as humanly possible i mean he has 16 tackling already great teamwork work great everything about him is <laughs> i was gonna say everything about him is good but no everything about him is promising F first touch of 12 as well which is pretty darn good um yeah lacks a bit of pace but you know he's 15 years old he's gonna improve massively we're gonna play mr benjamin jensen who's been here for a, a little bit of course um he was just gonna start playing him every single match christian Eriksen is now gonna be the substitute and uh yeah this guy is just gonna play all time he's probably my my gem in this team uh so yeah Teamwork of 18, vision of 16, determination of 16, agility 17 already at 16 years old. I mean, you just love everything about him, right? And of course, our superstar goalkeeper, who I guess is also my gem or cruel crown in the jewel of, you know, all them words. Uh, yeah, he is going to be our starter now. I did say that I was going to sell Michael, and it wasn't my plan, but then I kind of, I kind of wimped out there because one thing about Mr. Michael is that he is like our only English nationality like player. So I don't have to register him or anything. Well, I, I don't need to worry about registering him or anything. So um, yeah, I decided to keep him around. I, I gave him a new contract, which was like a, a pretty hefty, what's it called, pay pay cut. So that was good. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to just keep him around, at least as a backup keeper. I and mean, he's still good, right? I mean, he's gonna decline, decline. He's 35 years old, of course, but He's just a good backup to have, right? And he's experienced, he's tutoring the others, and yeah, just keep him around the club, because why the heck not, right? Other than that, of course, we have our Afghan, I think, uh, like, centre-back, who is very promising as well. He's going to play loads as well. He's, like, basically my third-choice centre-back right now, after Christensen and, of course, Nielsen, who is also improving quite a bit, right? He's actually very, very good, and, uh, yeah, he's just going to play. He's still 23, so he has loads of potential to improve, so... Yeah, want to play him as well. And Mr. Nicholas Nati is going to be our first choice midfielder now instead of Delaney. Um, like I said, we may sell Delaney, but if not, the same goes for him as uh, with Michael. It's good to keep him around, right? He's still class. He's he's obviously going to decline as well, but he's only 30, right? It's not that bad. And he's a great uh, mentor for the others. So I'm happy to just keep him around. And yeah, on that, it's going to be all up to Mr. Boon Larsen to carry us, I think, and uh, Damsko on the left. I want to see more from Damsko. He's such a good potential, right? Only 22 still, but I need to see him improving, like actually improving and playing well. Like, you suppose he's still here, of course, but I will start playing Mr. Wahid Fagir pretty much all the time. That is my goal. Um, You'll notice that you're supposed to starting today. That's because we actually do have a match today. We're playing in the, what's it even called? What's that? the tournament called community shield versus liverpool and because it is versus liverpool basically i just want user paulson to play because i want my pressing forward to play that is literally the only reason otherwise mr figure would be playing so so paulson will still have a role to play i think but yeah i mean unless someone just bits on him and i sell him immediately we have this guy tochi chukwani as well who you know as we i think we bought him like a year ago and he was automatically loaned out to you know yeah but uh yeah he's been playing well in the danish league and uh, i think he's ready for some game time here and there um but yeah it's not too overly exciting but i mean according to the scout not scouts the staff and all sorts it's, there's a decent potential about him and uh, he's pretty darn well rounded actually like 14 14 14 14 that is what you want to see in them in them attributes and he's only 19 years old so he could potentially be very very good other than that of course we still have mr Dharami, which i'm really looking to see a lot more from he is going to play as like a lot as well this season i mean he was playing a fair bit uh last year but then he went out on a six month loan i think to, uh, to sporting kansas or whatever they're called uh yeah i mean you can see he's actually scoring quite a lot like six goals in 13 and six goals in 15 with three assists as well it's not too bad so, um, yeah, I want to play him as well, but, I mean, we can't play all of them at the same time, but, yeah, the youngsters are definitely going to get their chance this year, and um, same goes for this guy as well, but then, now it's around me and him are kind of vying for the same place, right? So, um, Mr. Eskil Del, but, uh, I think it's a matter of playing him, this guy on the left, and then just putting the Rami up front when Mr. Mr. Wahid Fagir needs a, needs a chance, uh, needs a break, sorry. 
but um yeah it should be pretty exciting and um we're probably gonna get smashed lots because i'm gonna be just committed to playing the youngsters basically i mean just because you see christian erickson is still by like our best player by a mile right in terms of ability as well same goes for christensen but he's gonna play a lot at least but yeah i'm getting bored of christensen and uh, christian erickson sorry and he, he's not he's not playing overwhelmingly good right Seven goals. I mean, assists is good. His rating is decent and stuff, but it's you want to see more, right? You want to just see a bit more. Um, so, well, I'm not going to see more because he's not going to start any longer. But you know, I'm sure he'll play loads off the bench and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. And of course, we'll be making our debut in the Champions League this season. So that should be very exciting. But that also means that we're going to have to use our entire squad like every player is going to play a big role this season i have no doubt and uh, yeah it's just getting the best out of well everyone but developing the talent that is what we need to do because long term who, those are the people we need we can't just go out and buy buy all the superstars because well rules are rules speaking of rules it is a rule to play 11 people and when you do play a match which we're gonna do right now we should put 11 people on the field and this is the 11 people that's going to do it that was a lot of saying 11 but yeah center up is going to be on goal our new first cha first choice goalkeeper with leonard jensen on the right back who uh, a little bit scary versus Liverpool, but mm, it's fine festus and nelson our experienced center back who at least work well together i think so that's good and then of course our superstar left back who's just um, he's so well rounded and he's developing well mr andres polson and his preferred number is 40 which i like so that's fine Hoybia yeah, and a Nazi in the middle, um, with Bon Larsen on the right, Benjamin Jensen, our superstar in the AMC role, and then Dapsko on the left. And then, like I said, this game only is going to be used at Polson up front. Well, not only, but at least for this game, because I do want my pressing forward, right? It, we're playing bloody Liverpool, as you can see here, as, uh, okay, as we're doing all this. <clears throat> so yeah, let me just confirm that, and let's get into the game. Yeah, these fans have been fantastic. Let's go win the trophy for them because, frankly, why not? We're here. Ah! Oh my god, I'm being assaulted by my bloody beard. It's so tickly with my nose. Ugh. All right, well, let's take a look at the Liverpool squad. They certainly have some recognizable. They have Frankie de Jong. I mean, that's pretty terrifying. Uh, Robertson and Trent still are the fullbacks with Van Dyke and then Alvarez, the Ajax. Superstar is he? I mean, he's very, very good, right? They have Bernadeschi, which is a bit strange, but mm, he's good. They have Eljif Ilmas, who's... Yeah, I've looked at him lots in other saves. He just looks very, very good, right? But I have him... What's on the bench? Oh, they're playing their Polish kind of talented keeper instead of Alison. Who else do they have? They have Lodi, they bought. Uh, who's this guy? Armando Izzo. Uh, looks underwhelming. Um, Nico Williams. I guess that's their talent, right? Yeah. I can't believe they bought bloody Frankie de Jong. That is pretty amazing. How much did they pay for him? Probably loads. 89 million. Could be worse, to be honest. I would definitely pay that if it was me. So, uh, yeah. Of course, I did a Barcelona save. Link in the description. And, yeah. I absolutely love Frankie de Jong. He just plays amazingly. Um, okay, sure. Just click buttons. Oh, this is still in the behind goal. That doesn't do it. Okay, TV. Come on, let's just start the season with a tiny little trophy. Why not? Holy moly, the first... You are joking, right? What? Yeah, you need... no, 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 no. Pause. How do I go about this? We need to see this again. Wasn't that just a straight up clear? What? Let's slow this down and see what on earth's happening here. I mean, he literally takes the ball, but then I guess he kind of hits him as well, and he's off. Are you... This is literally the first highlight as well. <sighs> well then, well then. I mean, I was going to gamble loads on Mr. Jensen, but I guess we'll just put on the centre-back wonder kid and then play without an AMC. And now they have a corner. No, that's a throw-in. Fabinho now on the edge of the box. Trent. He loves to score! <laughs> okay, I should speed this up again. I mean... <sighs> what a way to start the... I don't need to see this again. No, thank you. 
Right, and that is half time. What a weird, weird start to the season. Show me something else in the second half. I mean, I know we're a man down. We're probably going to get shafted here, but what do you even do? That was the first highlight. The first highlight was literally a red card, and then they immediately score after. <sighs> Just... <sighs> Is it going to be one of those seasons? Please, if not. Okay, as Liverpool are now piling for a... F Ooh, good save by Stenholm. How did he manage to miss that? Because we have a goalkeeper that with hands. Right, at this point I just want to get out of the game, as Trent is just gone off injured. Um, <clears throat> of course it is the community shield, I mean, who on earth cares about that? But when you're playing a final of any kind, you may as well just win it, right? But I just want to see... Ooh, Poulsen is in! I mean, we still have a chance. Do we have a chance? I mean, we, we, we always have a chance, I guess. Just keep demanding more, right? That's always what I do when I'm a man down. Paulson into Damsko, to Narty. I mean, this is some great, great... Oh, that assist there is amazing. And then Paulson actually slots it in. Whew! Now he just needs 10 more to score another goal. That's going to be fun watching. As Liverpool are just piling on the pressure now, I guess. Again, Fabinho to money. Okay, Robertson, yeah, you're not scoring from there. Van Dijk to De Jong, all the way back to Grabara, is a great name, a great ball to money. Uh, yeah, you can tell where Mr. He was outside there, right? I, I guess not, but yeah, good save, at least from Stinnold. Following corner, is it going to result in anything? Chamberlain on the edge of the box. Oh, great tackle from our, like, 16-year-old defender. Now he's driving it forward, just don't lose the ball. Pick a red, what are you doing? To Fabinho, oh, the young, he's definitely gonna. Oh, that was that was tense. Uh, and good defending there, I guess. <laughs> Just hoofs it clear. I mean, some of the players are obviously playing like, well, crap. But I mean, can you even blame them being a man down? But we we have to make some sort of change here. Oh, let's go on from Boon Larsen. That's the first one. Yeah, just demand a bit more. We, I mean, we're never out of it, right? <laughs> but. Fabinho, they just have so much space to play on right now, but, yeah. They're always going to have that when we were men down, and, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough! It's a good sneaky cross there to Firmino, who then just prods it in. I mean, do we see it again? Why not? Is it De Jong with the great pass here? I think it is, yeah. And then Williams with the cross, low, and just... Oh, just who was that trying to defend? It was probably Kestis. I mean, yeah. Eh, unlucky lads. Okay, so damn score is also just wait. Didn't I just? You are joking, right? Is this going to be another red card? Okay, never mind. Right. Well, let's do the change I wanted to do. Damn score is not really playing well. Let's just get let's get Dell on. Frankly, why not? Virtual van Dijk almost with a goal. Wait, it was saying something about substitution. Can I make more substitution? I can. Why can I do that? How many can I make then? What the heck? You can you make five? Uh, okay. Let's just do that then. Wait, why can you? You can make five substitutions in the whatever this community field is called. Yeah. Well, why not then? <laughs> Learning every day. And the only reason I was thinking about it is because the assistant was saying, "Oh, you should put on a player." But uh, yeah, I mean. I guess they need one more goal to like make it nice. But great save from Stenholt. Uh, another chance perhaps for Liverpool? Are we gonna get there? Probably not, right? Don't tell me we're gonna count. Just don't do anything so funny. And a great ball from, from Stenholt there, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> come on. Do you really have to do this? And that was our wonder kid sense of defender who <sighs> makes the penalty. Is it Fabinho? It looks like Fabinho. Yeah, it is. Senegal. Come on, lad. Oh, close, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Nestles it in. Uh, okay. Well, well done. Don't need to see that again. It's safe to say that we've been... We've been dominated this game. Are we gonna make it just uh, annoying for ourselves? But it's still just saying that I should make substitutions. I mean... Can I? How many bloody substitutions can you make in this 
bloody game. That is ridiculous. Come on, just end the game already. I'm bored of this. Congratulations, Liverpool. Well done. You stole another trophy of us. I'm just going to say, unlucky boys, it wasn't meant to be. I mean, what can you say? It was going well up until... Mm, yeah, it's disappointing, but yeah, what are you going to do when you're a man down? Ah, <sighs> well... Hopefully this is not a sign to come about what's going to happen this season, because that was pretty testing. Um, yeah. Right. Well, of course, there's going to be lots and lots of that just to show you. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be Champions League. There's going to be all sorts. The schedule looks pretty kind in the, here in the beginning. So I think we will come back when I have some Champions League news, which is hopefully going to be soon. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little introduction video to the Season 3, which is going to be super exciting, I hope. Uh, but, yeah, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, till next time.